Hi all, I wanted to talk with you about there is no such thing as a perfect smile smiling is your smiling is your character so yeah basically I don't know what title I'm going to put in there the, the extra character I'm not sure about the extra character basically the reason why there's no such thing as a perfect smile is because as everybody knows every human being is different and you can't put someone in a subject and say their their smile is better than this other person and and yeah you can't you can't really subject them and 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 take preference and say oh their their smile is better than that other person you know you got you got you got you got the disability or the superhuman ability that def that deforms that person or f or forms that person when they're in a wheelchair there could be other problems associated with them you know it could be a stroke it could be a born disability a born superhuman you could call it because people don't like being called disabled if they're disabled so there's so many ver ver varieties of 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 issues or situations where 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 someone's supposedly perfect smile is impaired or supposed to be impaired or you know there are normal ordinary people girls and girls and guys and ga guys and gals that they have good smile good smiles but still you can have a, you can have a have a person that's average looks and they might not have a good smile or you can have a good looking person and they they don't have a good smile because something is not right they got maybe big gums or or like they 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 look they look better without not with, with not smiling and every human being wants to be told they've got a perfect smile so you know, you know. I'm not trying to say you should lie, but you know, you could you could easily just joke around and say you know, you got a nice wide smile. Even if they got big gums, you could just say, you could and, they, and if, even if they their gums stick out, you could just say, you've got you got you've got a nice wide smile. You could easily say that instead of saying you oh you got big gums. You know, you can you can strategize strategize it in a way that is is helpful to that person or encourages that person and make them feel good about themselves and positive. So and and besides, everybody has a good smile in my book. It's just it's just we're living in a fallen world and everything's all all deformed even even I'm deformed I've got a deformed toe on my left foot that that, I'm, that I've been born with so I'm not I'm not exactly perfect you know and all these people that wanna have plastic plastic surgery on their face and stuff you know just find your identity in Jesus Christ find your identity in that and then you won't have to worry about your weight whether you're overweight or not and your and whether you think you have not got perfect smiles so so I got a scripture that that speaks volumes and it and it's directly from God and it's not from my own lips because you know it's better what God says rather than what I say I, I can aid it but that's all I can do is aid it but yeah so here's a scripture and it's from Psalms and with Psalms everything in Psalms is very passionate very loving and yeah caring so let me read it then it's in the King James Version NKJV Psalms 139 verse 14 it says uh, it's 
says, I will praise or praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are your works and that my soul knows very well. So when he says about fearfully, wonderfully made, he's talking about how, for example, I'll give you a perfect living example, not just a made up one. What it is is that when we're in danger, automatically our heart our hearts start beating fast because we, when we know we're in danger we start to fret, we start to worry and the fear of the fear of our lives begin to kick in and our, our alertness starts to come out come out in our minds and, and we're, we're pumped up, we're like real really pumped up, ready to go, ready to go, ready to ready to like defend ourselves whether you're, whether you're female or male you know, you know, no, you know, females don't really, not. I mean, even if it's natural or not, females don't just, you know, don't just back down and say because it's a man, I'm gonna back down. He's gonna be better than me. Somehow, and in some way, human human beings are built for survival, and females, wi women, are built for survival, surviving surviving their lives, they're built to survive regardless of whatever situations there are they're in, especially in God's situation, in God's in God's protection. They are more protected. Females females are more protected when they're when they're in Christianity. And so is men as well. But yeah but with 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 when we're outside of Christianity there's there's less protection. But even even regardless, even if we to, even if we're to die early early or late, you know, we're 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 forever in God's presence as long as we believe that Jesus Jesus died for our for our sins and all of our sins. So yeah. So that really answers the question about, you know, our smile you know and not just that I'm gonna go on a bit further and say that the media puts pressure on us and 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 says and singles out and says and says what we should be like what we should strive to be like because God's doing his own his own righteous and peaceful and enjoyable things God is doing that Jesus is doing that and the media is doing its own falsehood Sometimes the media does good things, but most of the time, or half the time, is is preaching falsehood. Especially, especially no, ha most of the time, most of the time the media is pre most of the time the media is preaching some kind of falsehood, whether it's every day or 24/7. It's at least every day the media is pre preaching some kind of falsehood. You know, I've heard on the television before, many years back. I don't know, not long, maybe actually, I don't know how long, but long a while a while back, I've heard on the television that someone actually said, you know, God doesn't exist, which is a load of rubbish. And besides that, anyway, you know, scientists are beginning to find out there there is. There is a such thing as God. People are people are slowly figuring it out, and yeah. So that's really all I have to say in this video. So I hope this cheers you up, cheers you up tremendously, and I hope this helps you a lot, and it gives and re re and re and that it and that it reestablishes your confidence and builds you up and makes you feel better, a feel good moment. So yeah, that's really all I have to say in this video. So that's it. God bless. Take care. And peace with you. Bye for now. Enjoy it.